Pisces. Welcome to your new love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. So I am doing new love readings by high demand. So if you like them, if they work for you, please do let me know and I will consider making them a once a month feature, okay? What's going on? Show me that Pisces new love. Show me that Pisces new love, please. Show me that new love for Pisces. Take what resonates, leave what does not. In addition, given your sign and the way people have a hard time getting over you, if I see X shit, it's not my fault. <laughs> Okay, so I don't want to hear it. Stop being someone that's so hard to get over. And I wouldn't see so many X's for you. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. I can give you shit. You're another water sign. You're fine. <laughs> I always give more shit to the fixed signs and also my fellow water signs. Ah, there you go. That's who I am. Show me what I need to see, please, for Pisces, new love, Pisces, new love, Pisces, new love, please. I want to see new, 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 new. Your intuition's already kicking off about a new offer, page of cups, or sending out a message. Show me what I need to see, please. It's tentative, but it's there. It's sincere. Page of Cups has more substance to it, honestly, behind the Page of Wands. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. I need to see Pisces, new love, Pisces, new love, Pisces, new love, Pisces, new love, Pisces, new love. Show me what I need to see, please, for Pisces new love. What are the lessons learned, please, for Pisces? What are the lessons learned that Pisces has learned over love that they can take with them? What are the lessons learned for Pisces? Lessons, lessons learned for Pisces. Lessons learned for Pisces. Show me what Pisces has learned that they can take with them into new love. What are the lessons that Pisces have learned? Page of Pentacles. Take care with your memories, yeah? Take care of your memories. And then also, for those of you who feel like you have a hard time with communication, keep your communication boundary-driven. Like, learn to compartmentalize your thoughts, okay? Learn how to communicate in a way that is tangible and that somebody can wrap their mind around, okay? So, you've learned to effectively communicate or have more nerve about starting something new. Again, the Page of Pentacles is the seed of an idea. Um, and then also, your memories are okay. Your memories are okay. If you're a Pisces who feels like you take a lot of memories with you, just please know that's okay. That's okay too. You know, you're a water sign. People are going to leave impressions on you. It's okay to take those memories with you. There's a lot to be learned in that. I will clarify, of course. It could do with memories or communication. <clears throat> what is your first impression? What is Pisces' first impression of this new person? What's the first impression that Pisces gets from this new person? What's the first impression, please? What is the first impression, please, of this new person? What is the first impression Pisces can expect of this new person? The hanged man. <laughs> There's someone who is open-minded and they like to gain perspective. Someone like yourself. Okay, someone who is open to new perspective. They might have a fountain of ideas or a way of being. They're a little different. They're a little outside the normative. They're much more in touch with their spiritual self. They're willing to gather multiple perspectives in order to operate in the world. Okay, they're not closed-minded. They're very open-minded. This is an open-minded person. The, sometimes they're very internal and or quiet, but that's just part of the process. They seem to be very open to life and the people in it, not closed off. This is someone who I'm starting to feel is very spiritually open. Someone who is very in tune with their spiritual self. Is the attraction instant? I ask that because it's, sometimes attraction is not instantaneous. Sometimes people grow on people. So let's keep that in mind. Is the attraction instant? Is the attraction instant? Is the attraction instant? Hmm. Is the attraction instant, please? The hermit, not right away, no. <laughs> or they could be dealing with Virgo in future. The hermit, no. Somebody's going to think about it. Somebody's going to think about it. This guy's a deep healer, man. They're a deep healer. They have no problem going within. Perhaps this is you. We'll clarify. Is the attraction instant? It might just slowly creep up on you one day that you're seeing this person in a different way. They give you something to think about. But no. The answer is no. Sag was a hell yes. They pulled an ace of wands over ace of wands. That was instant attraction. There was no mistaking that. Is this instant attraction? No. They might have some healing work that they're going through before they can see you in that way. Okay, or it could be the other way around. Show me the mental and emotional or physical attraction, please. Mental, emotional, or physical attraction for Pisces. Mental, emotional, or physical attraction, please. 
Mental, emotional, or physical attraction, please. Yeah. I know. I know. So it's looking mutual. Ten of Cups. Four of Cups over the Ten of Cups. You both want Ten of Cups, and it feels like you've waited forever to get it. Okay. You're going to both share that in common, as far as I can tell. Four of Cups or Ten of Cups. I want Ten of Cups, but I'm never happy with this whatever this is okay it seems like it's just taken true love forever right true love is taken forever i understand challenges absolutely always look at challenges challenges to expect what are the challenges pisces can expect please yeah two of swords decision to make as to what we shall see but there's an insistence here that somebody doesn't know somebody needs to get out of their headspace so they they probably have a tendency to get in there very comfortably, very easily. When, where, or how will you meet? When, where, or how will they meet? When, where, or how will they meet? When, where, or how will they meet? That's a bit tricky. When, where, or how will they meet? When, where, or how will they meet? Possibly at work. Or workshops coming across very strongly, particularly if you're a student. Workshops coming across very strongly, especially if you're a student, Three of Pentacles, working on something small. It's a small collaboration of efforts. It's the critical thing of starting something new so it can grow strong. And it has to start with the basic foundation of the thing. So it could be at school. Time marker is three for some of you, possibly March. Okay. Possibly March. Possibly at school, possibly at work. Okay. Underlying all this, Three of Swords, so that would explain the hesitancy on this person you're meeting, or you. That would explain why they're doing so much healing work and why the attraction's not instant. Okay? They're going through some serious healing work. Don't get me wrong, they're very much about new perspective. This person is open-minded, and I'm getting a very strong feeling that they have a spiritual aspect to themselves. But yes, they're very much in a healing space. It, it's rather substantial, and it's probably because they have a Three of Swords going on. Like pain. Pain in the heart fear, that kind of thing. So it is going to start out small, slow, three of pentacles, but tangible. You're going to have to work with them. You both have a desire for the ten of cups, but you're both in that kind of four of cups. <sighs> it's never going to happen. I know. It feels that way, but that's not true. Mm. <clears throat> Especially if it feels like you've been waiting for a long time. I understand. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. I'm telling you, I just saw an ending for somebody. Somebody's uh, This person's pain is rather fresh and was probably substantial. They might have actually experienced uh, loss in the physical realm as well. Show me what I need to see, please. 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 What's the best possible clarification for Pisces? Show me the best possible clarification for Pisces. Show me the best possible clarification for Pisces. What's going on? Show me this page of pentacles. Lessons learned. It's okay to take memories with you. And then also how to kind of tighten up your communication in a way that's meaningful and other people can understand and appreciate right there, right then. Show me that page of pentacles, please. Queen of cups. Yeah, see? It's okay. There you are, honey. It's okay to take the memories with you. You know? Past pain. The love, the happiness, the hate, the anger. It's okay to take that with you. It is. It's memories, and they're yours. They're precious, even if they were painful. And that's okay. Okay? Uh, sometimes our memories drive us. Sometimes they drive us to be better people. Sometimes they trap us in the past. But also, memories are what tell us that we're human. It's okay to take your memories with you. Okay? Yeah. But you're still taking action towards your heart space. Good. So don't stay trapped in your memories. Let your heart lead you, not your memories. Yeah? Lessons learned there. Change. So you went through change yourself. First impressions of this new person is that they do have an open mind. The hanged man. That's your first impression of them. Show me the hanged man, please. Or that they are in a state of suspension. They seem to have some personal confidence here. Six of Wands. Like, uh, they have very strong ideas about um, their spiritual self. That's coming across very strong. They have a lot of confidence in it. They have a lot of confidence in that. That's really strong for them. They have a certain level of competence in their in their endeavors, in their spiritual endeavors. I don't know how else to put that. I keep seeing somebody who's like, they practice yoga, they practice they practice the spiritual arts. Um, they have a lot of confidence in it. That's how you see them. 
Okay, they have a lot of confidence in what they do in terms of their spiritual and or emotional direction. That's coming across really fucking strong. You see them as confident and also sexy. Six of Wands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They got some fire, too. They got some fire inside. They light up when they do what they do. Does that make sense? They light up when they do what they do. Now, is the attraction instant? The hermit? <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> and, or unless it's Virgo, in which case it's confirmation of that person. <laughs> Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm not saying uh-oh isn't bad. Uh-oh is just somebody's going to have to prompt them because they're in hermit mode. <laughs> they're in hermit mode. <laughs> they're in retreat. They're in retreat. Don't get me wrong. This person has a very strong sense of who they are and what they're about. They have a very open mind, and they're actually quite proud about that. And again, that spiritual aspect is very strong. You see them as confident in their spiritual realm. I'm telling you, this is that kind of person who's in touch with the other space. Okay, that's coming across them very strongly, and you see them that way. The hanged man, but they are within. They're in a healing place, right? Uh, and you're going to have to be the prompter. You're slowly working your way up to it, Pisces. The Knight of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Ace of Wands. You want something new with this, baby. You do. But you're working up the nerve. You're working up the nerve. Okay. But it's a lovely nerve. It's a plan, too. The Knight of Pentacles isn't just about being slow. Okay, it's also the plan. You have a plan to take a risk on new passion with this person. You're going to have to kind of move towards them because they're in a hermit mode. Or if it's a Virgo, again, it's just confirmation of your action towards them. Okay. Um, but yeah, you want to start something that you're going to have to prompt them, especially if they've gone into an internal place for a variety of reasons, especially if they're a spiritual person. It might be on par for them to retreat from time to time. Okay, so they may not, in other words, they may not be looking, even if they're not healing, but I strongly suspect that they are, Three of Swords. Um, but yeah, you're going to have to prompt them, you're going to have to have a strategic plan, move slowly or move practically. Again, it's not just about speech, it's also about the practicality, right? The Knight of Pentacles, be the fool, get your nerve up, and present that Ace of Wands. You want to go out sometime. Okay, cool. All right, mental, emotional, or physical attraction. You pulled up the Four of Cups over the Ten of Cups. Yes, you both long. That's mutual. That's very, very mutual. You both long for a Ten of Cups existence, right? Will love ever come in? And uh, from what I can tell, yes, but let's keep going. Show me, please. <clears throat> Show me the mental, emotional, or physical attraction, please. Show me the mental, emo okay. Temperance. You gotta heal yourself to this. You gotta heal yourself to this idea that I'm never gonna find true love. You gotta see that. That I know, and it's looking like you're both prone to that thinking, especially if they're recovering from something rather fresh, and you yourself are taking with you lessons that it's okay to carry memories with you. That's coming across very strongly. It's okay to have memories. It doesn't make me weak. It makes me strong. Okay, I'm a Pisces that thrives on memories, and I take the best with me, not the worst. Okay, some of you needed to hear that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You know, or perhaps some of you, this is, I'm so sorry, this is so specific. Some of you, your emotionality is not the same for, um, why is that? That's so weird. It could be that you're dealing with a fellow water sign, the emotional or physical or mental attraction. There is a longing here. you got to reconcile yourself, temperance, card of Sagittarius, to this idea that not everything works out. Not everything works out. Not everything works out. You once had a Ten of Cups, it's not anymore. They once had a Ten of Cups, it's not working. It's just that does. You both seem to have an appreciation for the fact that Ten of Cups have changed. And that's a pain that you both kind of carry. The experience of an ending of a Ten of Cups. And that you could have a Ten of Cups again, the renewal. You gotta heal yourself to this. You gotta heal yourself to this idea that love, true love will never come. You both seem to be prone to it, which tells me you both kind of exited a Ten of Cups situation before. You both have experience with this. Emotional commitment, if not full commitment, emotional commitment minimum. You both have had endings in Ten of Cups. You both need to heal yourself to this idea that it'll never happen again. Yes, it fucking will. <clears throat> you know? Uh, it could be that your feelings about someone specifically have changed. I don't know why that would be coming up, but it does seem to be coming up. You Okay, as I said that, the king of wands <clears throat> has turned his back on the tower. Yeah. Passions change, love change. That's it. For the both of you. You both have had major endings. 
in love, okay, and in passion and in commitment. You both wonder if you will ever have that again. You know, your light must move forward, okay? You both seem to have an understanding, and this is critical, you both have an understanding that simply feelings change, okay? They themselves are working through something painful. It's looking like you've already been there, done that. Okay, you have a more familiar a more familiar sense than this person. I, I don't know how else to put Let's keep going. But you both understand. You both have this commonplace understanding that feelings change. They're not always what they used to be, and you've got to reconcile yourself to that. And that's okay. Change is inevitable. Change in love, change in passion, these are inevitable. And you can try to reconcile yourself to it, Temperance, Card of Sagittarius. You can try to reconcile yourself to it. You can try to reconcile yourself to it, but... That doesn't mean, but reconciling yourself to this fact doesn't mean you have to accept it. Pain is pain. If your love has changed and it's it's not something that you can put back together, well, there's only so much you can reconcile yourself to. Why would you, you know? So I, it's interesting, you both have been through it. I don't know why that tangent came across so strong. Challenges to expect the Two of Swords. Uh huh. Somebody's got to make a firm decision about their happiness. What would make them happy? Okay, that's that's really interesting. Make a firm decision here. So that tells me that there is a decision here, likely to put yourself out there to this person who seems to have gone into a serious retreat mode, the hermit, or their deep thinkers, or something like that. You got to make a firm decision about what it is that would make you happy, Pisces. It's the King of Swords. Make a firm decision about your personal ones, your four ones. Okay. You have to make an active decision here. This is not going to be passive. You're going to have to make that active decision, especially if they're not picking up on you or they're in a place of retreat. You seem to be more aware of their energy than they are of yours. I don't know if they have their back turned to you so much as that they've just gone into a place where they have to do their own thing. So it's going to be you. You're kind of undecided about how to best approach this. Okay, it's from what I can tell. Three of Pentacles. When, where, or how will you meet? When, where, or how will you meet? This already has the Three of Pentacles suggests an acquaintance energy. You already know this person to some extent. Show me the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> there it is again. Coming. <laughs> Interesting. Oh yeah, matching sweet here. The Queen of Swords and the Three of Wands. Twist. Does this person anticipate you? Or do you anticipate making a decision to make this work? Or to put yourself out there? That's weird. Or it's just more confirmation of the decision you need to make. You anticipate to make it. You're considering your options for lovers and in love. That's all you think about. That's all you think about. We got lovers here. Seven of cups, ten of cups, ace of cups. You got nothing but love for this person. They themselves, I do believe, yearn for new love, but there's a three of swords behind that. So again, just more confirmation that they've ended something rather serious. Uh, but you see them as a lover and more than a lover, a life mate. Truly, you do. You see this person as both the lover as well as the life mate. So you got to make a decision, my friend. You anticipate too. And, uh, but yeah, this might be what's keeping you in check. If you are familiar with their energy to some extent, it would make sense that you're hanging back because, uh, <clears throat> if it helps you, Pisces, I can tell you this person is yearning for new love. They are. They're just healing. It's looking like they're just doing healing. Okay, that pain is behind the cup, not in front of it. Okay, so they are putting the three swords behind them. And they do wish for new love. But I... You know, you are familiar to this person's energy to an extent, and you have a vision of a future with them. It's rather strong. They're both your lover and your helpmate, your life mate. Okay. You see them that way. Truly, you do. Okay, some of this Three of Swords that's underlying this whole thing. Some of the Three of Swords, please, that's underlying this whole thing. You just, uh, it starts, see, there they are again. Okay. The Hermit, again, let me know if you're dealing with Virgo. There's a pain they're working through. That's it. That's it. End of story. So, you're going to prompt them. That's exactly it. You're going to have to prompt them because they're in a place of healing. So, at first I thought maybe they might be anticipating your energy, but no, it's just more, more confrontation of the decision that you need to make. Because you have such a huge vision of this person in your future. They are your lover. They are your helpmate. Are they seeing anyone? They're not seeing anyone. <laughs> okay. 
FYI, they're not seeing anybody. <laughs> they're still, they're active healers, man. This person is very self-conscious of who they are. Like, they're very self-aware. They're like, I know I'm healing. I'm working on it. I'm working through my pain. This person understands what they're doing. They understand. So it's kind of like, you know, you're trying to figure out if you prompting them would help them at all, but you don't want to push them, that kind of thing. That would explain that Knight of Pentacles. You want to take the fool and let them know you're interested. Okay. So it's, you're slowly moving towards them. You're going to make an offer. You're going to prompt them. And your question is, is my prompting them going to hurt them or help them? That seems to be the question here. I see the longing for their new love in front of that three swords. I believe they want new love. I believe they might even be ready for it. It's just this person's very comfortable in their healing internal process. Like I said, they're very proud of their spiritual skills. I think, it, honestly, I mean, take a chance. I don't know. Take a chance, Pisces. Your vision of them is so strong. And it starts small. You're re you're relatively familiar with this person's energy. It's a pre-existing acquaintance, bare minimum. Okay? It is a pre-existing acquaintance, bare minimum. Okay? Lovers, ten of cups with this person. You anticipate, though, and here's the thing. You anticipate to make a decision about putting yourself forward. It would make you happy to do so. And you are showing them patience. You are showing them patience. You're showing yourself patience. Okay. You both have... That's here twice now. You both have an understanding that Ten of Cups, feelings and passions change. You've been through it. They have too. And that's why you're being so careful. <clears throat> Tentative. You want to put yourself out there. And it's a slow, strategic thing. Okay. You want the timing to be right. Although I haven't seen judgment here. It's just, you know... I. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, recognition and reward. Three of Wands. You're still in the anticipation is here. You got to get the strength up. Get your nerve. Stand your ground. Do it. Stand your ground. You know, <clears throat> if this person is as insightful, new beginnings at the bottom of the deck. I mean, again, you're not going to know until you try. Stand your ground. Make a decision. Okay. Um, I know you anticipate too. I hope this helps you. I think your biggest question is, will my sending out a communication or expressing my interest will that help or hinder personally i think it would help and if anything it would help get rid of this sense of anticipation in you okay and at the very least they they would know you were interested if nothing else okay i wish i could see something more definitive but this is the person that you have identified as a long-term future partner okay um you see the vision. Your vision of this person is really strong. And you're not going to know until you try. One of my favorite things to say because it's true. Okay, Pisces. I hope this helped. Put in the comments as you see fit.